the lesson today is over adding and subtracting negative fractions. So quick review, how do we add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators? We start by finding a common denominator. We multiply each part of the fraction by the same number to reach that common denominator. And we simplify the answer. And this process, which as you demonstrated, you know pretty well based on your pre-assessment results, holds true whether the fractions are positive or negative. For example, we're going to apply what, apply what was previously taught regarding integers and negatives. So we've got one half plus negative four sevenths. So follow our steps that were listed above. They're now out of view. We need to find a common denominator for each. So we've got fourteen. One half. We did two times seven to get fourteen. So one times seven. Times seven. We did seven times two. Get 14, and negative 4 times 2 times negative 8. Let me rewrite all that mess on there. We have 7 fourteenths plus negative 8 fourteenths. Keep our 14 the same. 7 plus negative 8 is negative 1. And that negative sign can go anywhere in the fraction, whether it's by the 1, by the entire fraction, or by the 14. It all means the same thing. So if you want to pause the video and try the ne next one on your own, you can. Or just keep it running and do with me. We've got negative 3 fifths minus 1 fourth. So we're subtracting. Same rules apply. So our common denominator we're going to find is 20. Five times five times four is twenty. So negative three times four is negative twelve. We'll put that there. And one four times five is twenty. One times five is five. So now negative twelve minus five twentieths. At this point, I trust you to know your subtraction rules. So without showing all the changing, I'm going to go ahead and write the answer as negative seventeen. That's all we're working on today. So the next page, you should definitely try these on your own. Pause the video. And here we go. Two thirds minus negative five six. Common denominator is six. Let me write that. There we go. Two thirds plus four six. That five stays there. Four minus negative five plus four plus five. We got the answer as a nine six. So let's put those terms as three halves. Four and one and one half. Negative four sevenths plus negative three fourths. Common denominator of twenty eight. Seven times four is twenty eight. Four times four is sixteen. That's negative. 4 times 7 is 28, 3 times 7 is 21, that's also negative, so double negatives, negative 16, 28, plus negative 21, 28, add together, negative 37, 28, which is fine by me, we want to make it a mixed number, we get negative 1, 9, 28, and this concludes your lesson over adding and subtracting negative fractions.